Alright guys, hey it's Pro Ace Joker, and man have I failed twice. Head so time. the first time I actually upload this to YouTube, if you guys saw it, I actually redid this because the game volume was too loud. So, and I didn't save it, so I now have to redo the entire commentary. And just now, I did it again. And then, as soon as I'm done, I realized my mic was off. So that doesn't really help me at all. Um... <laughs> So this is, I'll just say my intro, this is a game of multi-team on Asylum. I was going for cliff, didn't really get any so Green left near the beginning, uh, there's one guy left, but he leaves pretty early. Then yellow ends up leaving later uh, as well. So it's only red and us, and they end up winning, but we weren't really trying. Um, so it doesn't really matter too much. But anyways, I actually have a topic for this video, and... Well, it, it's, I will be talking a little bit about Halo 4. Four. So, my thoughts on Halo 4. Someone wrote this in a comment. Um, it was Night Beast. So thanks for writing that in the comment. I'll give my thoughts. But first, um, I want to say that my last video was about uh, playlists I enjoy and what I don't enjoy. I ran out of time, so I only got to talk about playlists I did enjoy. So, I will uh, be talking about players I don't really enjoy. Uh, and a little more about that um, Wednesday. Okay? Uh, I, that was part one, and I'm making part two. So, right to the topic, I got quite a bit to say. Um, so, to start off, I think Halo 4 is going to be amazing. The graphics look stunning already, from what we can tell. Um, they won't be releasing a beta. I guess, uh, I guess a lot, but it, we all know it's going to be tested very amazingly, but what I, what I really Skull like what they did with the Halo Reach beta, Tiger even though I never played it, is the upgrade, the graphics on it, it really, they really did a change, went, uh, pretty much just threw out all the metal, and then just completely changed it, which I think is really cool and I hope they kind of do that for Halo 4 if the metals don't look as amazing as we hope. Um, so, but the graphics look amazing and it's amazing what they can do with the graphics engines. I mean, they go from Halo 3, I mean, even Halo 1, which if you got Anniversary, you can actually switch back to them and you can just see there's no detail, really, nothing really intense about it. To now, where the graphics are just incredible and very lifelike, I gotta say. Um, Destination. And that he upgraded even more, and I think that's going to be amazing what they do with it. So, I guess they are releasing a bunch of new weapons with this game. It takes five, uh, place five years after Halo 3, even though it seems immediately after. It's actually five years. Um, so, we'll see how that works. Uh, it looks like it was immediately after, as I said, but it, it's, as I said, it's five years. So, hopefully, there'll be a little bit of change. I guess there's going to be a whole bunch of new enemies. Uh, Master Chief is going to face a bigger threat than he's ever faced, and I'll talk a little bit about that later, but not on that topic. Um, but, what they, what they're doing with this game is just amazing the new weapons i mean they we already saw from the teaser trailer the pistol grenade launcher and um so it looks it looks like it's going to be a great game um i i mean they, they are going to have old weapons like uh, they bring back the bow rifle which i like the dmr better because you get a single shot and you know how much how many, uh, you know if you hit, uh, shoot on the guy, you're going to hit a bullet, and you're going to hit, and then you instantly know how much your shield goes down. With the bow rifle, if you aim at him, you may hit two out of three bullets, that, in one shot. So, therefore, you may not get the, uh, minimum amount of shots that you need. So I kind of like the more controlled DMR. Um, so, and then... Sniper, I know they're going to bring back. I actually hope they make the sniper actually more difficult to use. As weird as that sounds. Um, I, I don't like 
uh, I think the sniper needs to be hard to use so that uh, there aren't people just no scoping ladder than right. Um, I think there's a lot of that in Halo Reach, and I think they need to fix that a little bit more where it's harder to actually use a sniper rifle. Um, I didn't mention that the DMR, the bat rifle, sorry, got a um, graphics upgrade. It now looks like a assault rifle DMR mix, the assault rifle ammo counter with a DMR scope looking uh, digital scope on top. And I think that looks really cool. It kind of covers a lot of your screen, but what are you going to do? Um, nothing is sense, so let me say that. Uh, just because I say it doesn't mean that it's going to happen or anything like that. Uh, you, we don't know anything for sure until uh, until game release. So, um, I guess they're going to have a perk system in the game. Which, eh, I, I don't know. I, I think that they're moving towards Call of Duty. Um, I don't think they will move towards Call of Duty. It can go two ways. One, the Call of Duty style, where you get to choose your own thing. Or, um, which I hope they don't do. Uh, or they have the set class setup, which they have now, which is like... Because you know what everyone starts with. You know that someone in battle rifles that people will start with a battle rifle and a pistol or assault rifle or something like that. So you, you know that what someone starts with when the game starts. Maybe they change the sprint to jetpack or something like that, but that's a little change. So I'm hoping they'll have that with the perk class. I don't want to see where people get to choose their own. I mean, I'm part of the com competitive community, so in the first month, I'm hoping to know what the best perks are to really get the most kills or play the objective the best, things like that. So, but I really hope with the set class setup, um, we'll see how that how that's going to play out later. Um, they may talk about it in a video or something. Um, hopefully they will, so we get a little more information on it. But I guess each different perk you use, your armor looks different, so therefore you should something different should happen. Um, I think it's going to be great. Um, as I said, I'm a competitive player, and I guess the um, I guess Halo 4 is actually the matchmaking is going to be catered towards competitive players more than casual. I'm sure they're going to have firefight, and of course they're going to have campaign. And they're going to have, like, infection and stuff like that. But I, they, they said that, um, what I heard is that it's going for more competitive than casual. Which I think is a, a great idea because I'm part of that community. I can't say anything for the casual, really. Um, we'll see how that wor plays out. Um, I think because it's a competitive community, it's going to end up being more skill-based weapon, more accurate weapons, like more DMARs, things like that. Um, I don't think you're going to see as many sword kind of weapons, melee weapons, things like that, or needler. Um, I really don't want to see any overpowered weapons. I'm sure they won't. If they do, they'll nerf it for sure. I feel they need to nerf the sword, things like that, but that's completely my opinion, and we'll see how it plays out. Um, so... I think the the maps and stuff they create, these none of the maps are recycled from the campaign for matchmaking, will be um, more move. like more competitive base so that the because they are catering to the competitive community. So I kind of like maps that are very even on each side. Uh, Asylum's kind of one of the maps. Um, it, it really is pretty. Uh, even, but then you can also spawn trap really easily, so maybe not the best, uh, I guess Zealot. Zealot's a great choice. Um, but anyways, on to something else. Um, they, they are gonna have a red versus blue story now, so they're going to actually give a reason why red is versus blue, which I think will be great. It's almost like factions, um, I'm guessing they'll have different armor sets for each team. Um, and I think that'll be interesting to see because you get both the campaign storyline and then you also get a storyline of the multiplayer, which I think is always cool. 
Um, you always get this extra storyline that you get for um, if you don't play campaign as much. But uh, they may actually have the storyline in campaign. You never. Know. But whatever it is, I think it's. Uh, I think they're really going to do a great job. Three four three is going to do an amazing job. People say that Halo died with Bungie. I completely disagree. What a lot of people don't realize is that a lot of the people who uh, who worked at Bungie, the, the people who still want to work on the Halo project, were allowed to stay with Microsoft. Um, they were bought by Microsoft, so they actually have workers who worked on other Halo games. It's not like it's a completely new team who's never seen the programming, the code of Halo, ever. So I think it, we gotta realize that these people are professionals and they are chosen very... It's a very tough decision on who you're going to choose and stuff because you want the best team to work. So I think that these programmers are going to do an amazing job and it's just going to be a really amazing game. Um, so what else can I talk about? I'm already talking about the perk system. Um, Red vs. Blue backstory. Uh, I've talked a little bit about the graphics. Um, what else? Uh, I guess what I, I should talk about what I'm hoping for. What I'm hoping for is pretty much what they've announced. I mean, it, it really is already what they want, but I've already mentioned. I d what I want is I, d I w don't want overpowered weapons. That's, I think, my main base. There's no bloom either. I think they messed up with bloom in this game and i'm hoping i'm guessing they won't be using bloom if they're catering to the competitive community but mm, you never know uh some people do enjoy bloom i mean i was talking to someone where i was playing some zero bloom 1v1 he goes why is there no bloom in this i'm like because i uh this is the mlg setup and they don't play bloom. So, I'm hoping they won't have Bloom again. Um, I've been playing a bit of Halo 3. I don't know, I've been doing absolutely terrible in Reach. I literally went negative every single game I played. So, I went to Halo 3 to do uh, work on my battle rifle a little bit, because I'm guessing that it's going to be a, um, how it's, it, Halo 3 is what it's kind of going back to in Halo 4, since uh, this was a prequel to the game. So, um, I hope they bring back armor abilities. Um, I kind of don't like the no sprint thing the competitive community has. I do like the sprint. I think sprint is not that big of a deal. Um, I mean, they do still have jetpack on Sanctuary on V7 and stuff like that. So, uh, I hope they bring that back. Um, I think they will. But hopefully they won't have stuff like armor lock or invisibility or something like that. Um... The so there's that. Uh, what else have I got? Uh, well, as I said, I was going to Halo 3, and I actually went back to Halo Reach after playing a bit of Halo 3, and I did really, really well. So, uh, Halo 3 did take a little bit more skill, and I think Halo 3 is better than Reach, even though I never really got into it. I never played it that much. Uh, so. This game still has another minute 13 left, but I've pretty much said everything I need to about Halo uh, 4. We don't know that much about it yet. Uh, I think they'll, I'm sure they'll bring back Forge. Uh, they, they said they are, and they said it's going to be better than ever. Um, so I'm guessing they'll be able to create more stuff on the map and things like that. Um, so that everyone kind of gets this weird, uh, this more, they, they can create more maps with just more stuff on it. So, um, what else have we got? Well, uh, that, that's really it, I gotta say. There's really nothing else I can talk about. Um, the Halo 4, about Halo 4, uh, I've said really everything I need to. Uh, we don't really know anything until the game comes out. Um, I think they really release the interviews and stuff like that to build some hype up. Um, and I think that's what it means that the Halo 4 will bring life back to the Halo world. Um, I think it needs to get that jump that it needs to really bring a bunch of people in. I don't think it'll ever hit Call of Duty 
high, but I think it will definitely, I think Halo 4 will bring back what it really needs from the community. Um, so this is the end of the game. We end up losing, but thanks anyways for watching. Game Bye. over.